A man killed two innocent health care workers, but as we're learning tonight, it could have been even worse. And it is clear from the suspect's criminal past the shooting was preventable. First, let's get you up to speed with what happened. The shooting happened Saturday morning, and it was at Dallas Methodist Medical Center just southwest of downtown. It happened inside the labor and delivery unit. The suspect, Nestor Hernandez, was there visiting his girlfriend and his newborn. But according to an arrest warrant, Hernandez was on Arm. He pulled a gun and repeatedly pistol whipped his girlfriend, allegedly telling her, quote, whoever comes in this room is going to die with us. The two hospital workers walked in and were killed. Today, we learned he reloaded his weapon and started to walk out of the room when an officer shot him. Yeah, WFAA senior crime and justice reporter Rebecca Lopez has been digging into this case and brings us new information on why Hernandez wasn't in jail. He was fresh out of prison for a violent aggravated robbery when police say Nestor Hernandez violated parole. Hey, Dallas and Carrollton police both arrested him on parole violations. This is body camera footage obtained by WFAA of the Carrollton arrest in June of this year. Carrollton police say they were working an undercover drug investigation when they came across Hernandez, who they knew had violated parole. He seemed agitated and, as you can see in this video, slammed his head against the police vehicle. Relax, relax, relax. Hernandez is a habitual violent criminal who has robbed, assaulted, and burglarized victims since he was a juvenile. In 2011, he was arrested for aggravated robbery but got a two year plea deal. After he was released, he posted this Facebook picture saying, straight out of the pen. Police say he is a documented gang member born and raised in Dallas. In 2015, he was arrested again after he robbed a woman beat her up and threatened to kill her. Because of his previous convictions, legal experts say he should have been sentenced to at least 25 years, but prosecutors agreed to an eight-year prison sentence. That's a real big clue. This guy's dangerous and going to be a continuing danger. There's no way he should have been pled to eight years. Hernandez didn't even serve the full eight years. Chief Eddie Garcia says it's a problem police constantly see, a revolving door of violent offenders. It's, it's frustrating. It is almost like we're swimming upstream. Hernandez was sent back to prison for the parole violations in July, but once again was released, this time on an ankle monitor in September. The Texas Board of Pardons and Parole did not respond to questions about why he was released early. He was wearing that ankle monitor when police say he went into Methodist Medical Center, beat up his girlfriend after she gave birth, and shot and killed a hospital social worker and a nurse. Ankle monitors on violent criminals are useless. Uh, and so that's what my biggest concern is. Police say they are constantly tracking down felons who have cut off their ankle monitors or committed crimes with them on. They say in the wake of these decisions by judges and some prosecutors, there are innocent victims. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.